earth. We all work and learn and live here. But what happens when the earth turns against us? And why? Fault lines are the invisible lines that split up our planet's crust into tectonic plates. These plates are shifting around beneath our feet. While it may not be noticeable, this moving can have adverse effects and causes earthquakes, tsunamis, and sometimes volcanic eruptions. These natural disasters are starting to affect human populations more and more each year. This is because more people are moving into earthquake-prone areas through increasing urbanization. Large earthquakes affecting large populations in places such as Japan, Haiti, Chile, and New Zealand are further evidence of this trend. From 1980 to 2009, there were a total of 372,634 deaths, 995,219 injuries, and over 61 million people affected by earthquakes, with the greatest mortality rating being in Asia. The greatest cause of earthquake-related death is building collapse, which puts the young and the elderly especially at risk, and more impoverished countries take an even larger hit. Even small earthquakes can do a large amount of damage. August 2014. Two earthquakes with nearly identical properties hit in the U.S. and China. The U.S. saw no casualties, whereas China saw 619. In the U.S., four homes were destroyed, compared to the nearly 26,000 in China. This is not a coincidence. If you look at the statistics, you will see that building codes are reliably enforced in the U.S., leading to much lower damages. But why is the Earth's crust even moving in the first place? It starts with convection currents. Convection currents are caused when molten rock heats up so much that it rises to the surface and starts to cool. Once cooled, the molten rock falls back down and completes the cycle. Tectonic plates ride along these currents and break and smash and slide into and past one another. And to create an effective warning system, we need to understand what happens in the crust. Where plates touch is called the hypocenter if an earthquake is created. Many studies have determined that when a rock is stressed, it actually turns into a battery. So if we can detect the pulses emitted from the rock when it is stressed and measure it, we can tell when an earthquake is about to happen. We can also use seismometers to detect the earthquakes. Seismometers rely on a weight that moves in relation to the frame and records a movement. As long as we spend money on earthquake warning systems and better civil engineering and infrastructure, we can build a country that will last for years to come.